Hello everyone, and welcome to Dwarf Romantic. This is the first time I've booted up the game, and the very first screen after all of like the, the legal reporting jargony stuff, because they take reporting analytics or something, but here we are. Click and drag the left mouse button to move the camera. Alternatively, you can use WASD. Click and drag the right mouse button to rotate the camera. Alternately, you can use Q and E. While hovering over the background with your mouse, scroll the wheel to zoom, or you can use X and C. In Dwarf Romantic, you build landscapes out of hexagonal tiles. Click on one of the empty tile slots around your world with your left mouse button to place it on the tops. Place the top style. Place the top tile from your tile stack. So we've got a tile here with five woodlands and one field. So I'm going to want to match the field up with the field tile as I understand it. While hovering over an empty slot, use your mouse scroll wheel or the R and F buttons on your keyboard to rotate your tile before placement. This way you can form groups of elements like forests or villages. Place tiles next to each other and connect their colored edges to form a forest spanning at least five tiles. Connected groups will light up. All right, let's do that here. All right, so we need to do five forests in total. So far, so simple. The tile counter in the bottom right shows you the amount of tiles in your stack. Once it reaches zero, the session ends. Place three tiles to continue. All right, well, let's get all the forests matching on that side. And on that side. And there. You gain tiles by fulfilling quests indicated by the speech bubbles to complete this quest, add at least five additional houses to the colored edges. You say to the colored edges, which edges have color? Oh, okay, we have colored edges, I see. So we can do that. And then we'll put that there. Here's another quest. To complete it, connect exactly two tiles to the quest tile. The symbol in the corner of the speech bubble hints to a follow-up task. Completing the quest spawned a flag, which indicates its group can be closed to gain extra points and tiles. This field group is enclosed when it can no longer be expanded anymore. Hover over a flag to highlight the remaining open edges and place tiles there. Train tracks and river tiles have placement restrictions. Their ends cannot lead onto different types of tiles. Invalid spots are marked with a red cross as visual help during the tutorial. All right, they also rotate for us. And we have a river as well. Oh, now we have train tracks and river. Every time you place a tile, you gain points according to how well it fits to its neighbor's edges. Collect 200 points to complete the tutorial. So we need houses here. And then 13. So on those tiles, because we put water there to start with, we must add more water, that's fine. Oh, there we go, 220. You completed the tutorial, congratulations. You also unlocked your first special tile, the windmill. It might show up in your tile stack in your next session. So there's the tutorial. Now we can start chasing high scores, I guess. I have no idea what a high score looks like, but you know. Landscaper 1, place down 100 tiles in total. Ocean 1, form a water body with at least 15 water segments. Engineer 1, 
form a train route with at least 10 train tracks. Alright, so I'm guessing that open fields don't actually count for very much. But we will try and build out the houses in one big city. Fields? Why not have fields start over here? Woodland? Keep building that larger. Okay. Oh, this is train tracks. That why that's why I can't put this here. In that case, let's put this house. Oh god, no, this train track seems to be tricky. Let's go with that then. Back to building houses. Houses and woods and fields. Add at least one house to fulfill this quest. Okay, well, we've got railway roads, so let's put the forest or... Let's match up that field. Now we have river. very limited on where we can put that. Now we've got more railway. That'll be fine. We're getting some more woods over there. Just a plain old empty tile. Where would I put an empty tile? We might as well, I suppose, make this river go outwards in, towards open space. Trees here, that's what we like to see. We get a bunch more tiles for our stack. Okay, these railways are not my friend. I've penned myself in with railway, but it looks like we do have a terminus there, which might be helpful. So we can stick that in there. That's not going to do us any harm. And we get a perfect plus 60 for having a plain grassland surrounded by six other plain grasslands. Now we have a body of water. We can just make a lake. But I don't think that's what we want. We can also have our river spill out into a body of water. We get our two tiny forests there to join up. Here we want forests joining this space. So we'll go with that. And houses over here. So now I need an all house tile to go in that gap. I don't know if I will ever see one of those, but we can hope. Oh god, a triple riverway. Right, we'll stick that there then. That's very close. But I'm going to try and hold out for a perfect... What I shouldn't have done is close off the rest of the neighborhood on that side. That's a shame. Great big forest. Bunch of perfects. And we can keep that forest growing with the tiles around it. more fields. Add at least three fields to fulfill this quest. We've got 36 tiles remaining.
not yet seen one of those windmills they told us about. Uh, let's get... Oh, we can't close off the field there. So let's just add empty space next to empty space. Now we have a bunch of waterways. Oh god, how are we going to do this? If we do that, we need a triple waterway in between. That sounds like a bad time. Apparently it liked that for some reason. I'm not going to complain. And plus five railway lines. I'm happy enough with that structure. Plus nine water. Let's go with that. Plus 12 group of houses. Do we have any homes? We do, but nothing... No, that's trees. That's not homes. That's homes. Then we need more forest, which is what we've been saving over here for. Homes and forest? No, that's forest on that side. That's not going to work out. We need an ocean of 18 water tiles. So let's not close this off yet. A tiny home tile. Bunch of fields. We need more fields over here. This is a plain tile. Plain tile can go there. That's not doing anything. There's our fields. We complete that quest. More water tiles. If we do that, we can hope for perhaps a tiny little river turn there or a lake more forest let's go over here plus 179 trees Requires at least eight trees to fulfill the quest. Just eight more? Or just eight? Now, more bodies of water we wanted over here. Tiny single trees. But I don't want to cut off my tree sections hey it's a full house tile I've been waiting for that for ages I've unlocked the water train station and we got a great big perfect and a bunch of tiles for it build towards this spot to uncover a special tile is that the only one nope there's one over here as well all right, we should be doing that then. Um, we've got houses for now. Where are we going to put these houses? Over here. More fields. These fields like to just go in a long individual chain, which does not help me a great deal. Close off that railway line. That's nice. This can go anywhere we want it to. So why not here? 
and we can build forest against forest there. More railway. We're going to lose that quest if we put it there. But I don't fancy our chances of building a whole other railway somewhere. Because we're going to close off a lot of our options with that. And if we do that, we still have one out here for growing more fields. Houses and wheat. And 16 water. That's not going to be a problem for us, is it? We can even add that to our forest. Houses. Oh god, where are we going to put houses now? Right there. More railway lines. That will have to do. I want to keep building this out. Oh, if I do that, that's going to finish the quest. That will give me some more tiles, right? Yep, that gets me five more. And another five, apparently. And we have a flag. The flag has gone. That's fine. Since we have water and we want to build out towards whatever this special tile is, let's try and do that. We've unlocked a boat tile. Sure. Ocean 2. Get 30 water tiles together. We've got another full village tile here. And nowhere really good to place it, unfortunately. We ended up with our tiny little village in the centre of town there. So where else do we want to start building? I guess we have this kind of smattering of buildings. We closed off that field section. So let's stick that there and get two wheat tiles going. And then even more wheat tiles next to some forest. Over here we've got more water. Let's see. That'll do. Railway line. Oh, we've cancelled that quest. We can undo. How many of those do you get? Not many, I imagine. Right, so we want to build out this town further, but we're going to need a town railway line for that, and that's going to be tricky. So over here, get that village going around the corner. Get those two together. More forest over here is going to be great. House and forest. I don't think we're ever going to get four fields into that, are we? Into that tiny gap. There's house and forest, but it's backwards. So we'll add on to the forest there. And there. More waterways. I want to get more houses onto here. So we'll go with that, which we can then join up with this. We get our water quest. That's good. We're 79 of 100 on just getting down a whole bunch of tiles. Plus 299 plus. Well, we can add that to our giant forest. That's going to do us a lot of good. Right, we completed that quest. We get another flag. More houses are going to come over here. 
two quests completed there. Then we come back over to the meadow side of things. Keep that growing. Uh, Bendy railway line with houses is the one I want, isn't it? So I'm going to have to put this somewhere else. That will do. Looks like we got a windmill coming. No idea how that's going to impact things. All right, well, we're going to put it over here, obviously. We're getting close to this. Plain grassland. Oh, God, this is like an everything tile, isn't it? That seems pretty good. More river. Bunch more houses. Back to our woodland. There's another quest done. Uh, railway for 11. That's going to have to go here or there. I could join those two up. That would be very nice. Biome unlocked. Lavender. Oh god, is that just going to make things more complicated for me? I can imagine that's the case. A house populous tile. It's obviously just going to get thrown in there. An all wheat tile. Why won't that complete that quest? Add exactly one field to complete this quest. I see. Okay. Well, more water is absolutely fine. Water and forest could probably go near here somewhere. What are these flags indicating? Close this group by placing tiles at the highlighted edges to fulfill this flag quest. That's it. Okay. Well, then let's try and close this forest. My railway is not a big fan of me. Edge forest. Edge forest. Exactly one field is not that. Forest and houses over here. Closes off those two edges. More railroad. That's going to be a nightmare, I'm sure. Water and houses. Um, I kind of just want to start closing off some parts of this river. Because the water can just go on forever, couldn't it? What are we building towards? This tile, that tile. We're so close to this one over here. But this is forest and houses. We just need two edge forest for that. This is exactly one field. So that completes our windmill quest. Long straight railroad line. Can't go on any of my current railroad locations. That's a bummer. Maybe I can get a railroad cross section in here. Uh, woodland edges. I need two edges for that, I think. More houses. Even more, more houses. But it's got railroad on it, so there's your problem. Oh, we can stick it in there. 
I don't love it, but you know. We've unlocked the locomotive. Right. We now have another water train station. Stick that there. We can fulfill that quest. What edge do you need to be close? Oh, God, we've got to close off all this as well. Uh, triple railway is not anywhere that I need it. So let's just continue outwards in that direction. Double fields. We're nearly over there. More rivers. Houses. Sure. There's a tiny railroad there. I've missed it. You want to be far part of a giant forest, huh? Well, I just tried to close out this forest, so I don't think that's going to happen. 558 trees. I'm probably late to that party, I think. But we can start a new party over there, I suppose. We want more fields there. But we're not going to get four fields, are we? Not and water. I don't think that's ever going to happen. This is add at least 95 trees to fulfill this quest. We've got trees and water going. Well, I'm sure we can do these trees here, although. Did we finish this one? I don't see the flags on it anymore. I guess we did. Or I, I put this here for the... Uh, I put this here for the fields and screwed up my edges for my forest, I guess, which is annoying. But that's okay. We have a new forest. Railway lines just going wherever the hell damn they please. We still have a lot of room to go in our village. Forest comes up here. Heavyweight one. Place 25 consecutive tiles without rotating a tile. Oh god, where, does that appear here at some point? Or is that just kind of occurring in the background? Because that's going to be tricky. One, two, three, four. That rotated it for me. I don't think that counts. Five, six, seven, eight. Ah, oh, so close. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 
24. 25. Well, I didn't manually rotate any of those. I have no idea if that's what the game wanted or whether that quest will appear later. But here is... Oh, okay. Connect to 37 water. We can probably do that with two tiles in a minute. We've got a village going on. We've still got this whole giant townscape up here, don't we? Then more trains. I'm going to regret my... Oh, look, there's a train. Goodbye, tiny train. Uh, forest. Uh, no, wheat. Lots of wheat. Then more forest. Where do we want forests? Down here. More wheat. That's going to be just fine. At least 19 fields. Where on earth can I put this railway tile? What does this say? Six railway lines. This does that, doesn't it? Quest cancelled. I don't understand what that quest was about. More water. We needed water getting to this guy. Then forests. Can join up with that forest later, perhaps. Even more railroads. Apparently it's rare to find any of the tiles that will cause your railroads to end like this one we found here earlier. Right. Let's finish that field. Then we've got this obscene piece of railway architecture. Let's go with that. We completed that railway quest. Not sure how. Up here. Keep the village getting larger and larger. That is the end of a railroad though. So give me that as soon as I get the opportunity. We still need to connect these two bodies of water. So much wheat. Right, that's a good one for over here, I think. We can stick that there. Put that there, and then... Oh no, have I doomed this to be a really awkward Y piece of river that we need? In that case, why not do that instead? Now we have way more options about how to connect that water to where we need it to be. Plain empty space. More we oh wait, that's the Y shaped water I needed earlier, wasn't it? One more water tile. That'll be fine, we can do that. Where's the next one to grow out to? Over there? Seems to be just that one. We need loads more ocean. We only need 11 more railroads, but it needs to be connected to all of this stuff. So what I need to do is get that connected at some point. That'll do me great work. More rivers. 
Analyst 1, collect 120 points with a single tile placement. Is there like a challenge menu? No, but I'm very, very low on the leaderboards if there are 300 high scores, 300,000 high scores above me. I think after this first game... Oh, we've only got 13 tiles left. Ah. We've got to make... I just hadn't been paying attention to the size of the um, stack of tiles at all. But that's fine. Um, bigger forest over there. You need houses, you need railroads. That railroad is really awkward. I can see that that is an incredibly awkward railroad. We need that forest to be bigger. We need both of these forests to join together and be giant. Not that I see it happening anytime soon, I must admit. Two left. Uh, we're not going to get that water quest done. Are we going to get this field quest done right now? I'm guessing not. Alright. Well, for a first go, I'm not mad. A high score of 8,360, but clearly heaps to improve. This railway is just a mess. This little tiny village to begin with should have had more options. The waterway is not awfully creative, but lots of hope here for some very relaxed high scoring. So I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you in whatever comes next. Thank you ever so much for watching and I'll see you again. Cheers.